off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Can you guys see the miserable rain out there? I actually need to go out there and get that basket, but it hasn't stopped raining since we got home from Utah. For me to want to go out in the rain, <laughs> I get it. I also need to bring in all the pillows and kind of smash the, you know, chair together. I don't know. The whole thing is getting drenched. Also, this happened. Also, that hasn't happened. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do with those. The fireplace is on. It is, let me just show you, 63, 63 degrees in here. So yes, I am back to shutting doors to try and maintain heat instead of cool. Don't mind my face, I'm not putting makeup on this week. <laughs> Maybe even next week. Um, so I'm cold. And part of why I'm cold in here is because the AC unit is still in the window so my window is cracked open and it's cold in here so my battery is flashing so i'm going to put the camera down change the battery and then we're going to take out the ac unit and if i start working out in here on the treadmill which is likely the very next thing i'm going to be doing soon not today but i will just bring down a fan i don't need to have this whole ac unit but it's also going to mean that i'm going to clear out this space tuck her cart away and then I'm gonna want a vacuum and there's beads all over this floor you guys look she's been beading and now she's back to perler beads and she's making these little trinkets for her cheer team there's beads all over my floor so I can't vacuum I'm gonna to have to get down we, we already got down on our hands and knees twice yesterday and we didn't get them all up she went back to beading after we did that so there's more beads on the floor again so Hi, welcome to my day. Also, this is the shirt that I got in Boise. Well, time is battery. Battery died. I have intentions of working out tonight when I go to take Ashley to cheer, but we are back to indoor walking. It has been raining nonstop. I guess it rained the whole weekend we were gone as well. I guess it was homecoming weekend. <laughs> Abby didn't go to homecoming dance. I think she went to homecoming game and filmed it for um, yearbook but it rained the whole time. So we're back to miserable weather. Got to get things heated back up in this place. But I'm also um, trying to pay bills and get back to life and edit videos and check schedules and plan a trip to Japan. You guys, it's getting so crazy. We are, the, the Ashley's coach is like, hey, it's starting time to start planning Japan. Um, we have definitive dates. We have definitive schedules and planned excursions and planned hotel and we have email groups with the families that are def definitely going but I need to I've already paid a deposit to confirm that we're going to go but you guys there's so much <laughs> I dare I even say uh, let's get some of this other stuff done and then I'm going to tell you what our tentative plan is in order to make Japan happen. Japan is very expensive to get to from here in Seattle. And we have a little plan up our sleeve to make it a little bit more affordable. And it's it's the craziest solution. And it's ca causing a lot of different flight plans to have to happen. But it saves us thousands of dollars. That'd be worth doing, right? You could save thousands of dollars to go to Japan and make that happen. You try and work something out, right? So, I like me a good plan. So, I'll be right back. We're going to do this. All right, we've got the little thing pulled out from the window. Oh, it's cold. Had to have it open to get it out. So, it's pretty cold. I'm not really in the mood to try and dig these, dig out the... Um, storage behind the or underneath the stairs so I'm just going <laughs> to cheat and put these here Jason's going to deal with this later 
but I am willing to get this area cleaned up a bit. Ashley has been like going through her like craft supplies lately and trying to like sort through all of the different buckets. Guarantee you this wasn't like what was in here originally. Perler beads. See, she's been into perlers this weekend. So, all of this is kind of messed up. All of these <laughs> perlers that she's made. So, we'll put this back together here. I guess she wants this in here as well. Maybe she designs them. That's actually a really good idea. She could design them with that. This is a smart girl. I never would have thought to put that little notepad in there. It's like the dot game. But she thought a little bit outside the box. No pun intended. <laughs> See what I did there? All right. My whole shelves could use a like an overhaul because when the kids like leave their extra like notebooks like this, they just stick them in there. And I'm 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 prone to doing the same thing. In fact, I might let's just do this. We're going to do a goodwill dump really quick let's see here no yeah no these are good this just needs to go into like the office supply bucket where's the office supplies right there but see it doesn't fit in there so it needs to go down into that bucket this is why i don't want to start it because i really don't want to but this guy can go here which means this guy can get donated i don't need that and that fits there. Oculus. I've actually thought about selling the Oculus. But I don't need any of these notebooks. They're not going to use them again. They just are funny like that. Um, so I'll donate those. Let's see what else do we have here on this shelf. Well, I can just see this one. What is in there? I don't know. Ah, there's more. See, it's like Pandora's box. You just start opening things up. and I, You don't want to like mess with it but like you want it more organized so crap okay I have gone through actually that one's really good I'm gonna hang on to that guy I might put him like right here um like that put it right on here because I've got the extra office supplies in these buckets here this is more like the pens and pencils and markers and highlighters and stuff that is in this office supply bucket but there's another one seriously they come out of the woodworks so I'm just trying to like pull out like this kind of stuff because I'm going to make the kids use these again next year I had no idea we had so many of them um, and then we've got extra paper that came out of the notebooks and I'm just going to donate all of these ones it is nice to get a new fresh one at the beginning of the year. I get it. And they only cost like a dollar or two. So it's not a big deal. But someone else might be able to use these. Um, but I am going to keep all these little folder divider thingies. Um, that can come in handy for projects or for new folders that they want to create. But now I need to go through yet another one. And then I keep all of my paper, if they need it, down here. I have just both you know, lined paper and computer paper, which looks like I might need to replace my computer paper, but I'll just do that. All right, so now I have a pile here for donate. I haven't decided if I'm gonna donate that, but I don't know where to put it, but I am gonna donate that. So we're gonna stack that up. We're gonna take that to my car and I'll run that when I go out next. All right, I need to get back to editing a video. Um, I'm working on my computer. These are mine. These are <laughs> fabric scissors and my kids, I need to hide these again. I'll put them away in my sewing bucket because they keep using them. And I know she's using them for like the thread stuff here, but it's like, they're like $25 scissors. <laughs> so these need to go back into my sewing bucket. You guys are getting a little, little tour of my buckets here. They need to not have access to those anymore. Not even tempted. Tuck them away. But this, <laughs> I don't want to clean up after her, but I need to like find a tray or something to help her with the problem of all of the beads spilling on the floor. 
I'm going to look at Target today when I go because I'm going to try and find like a plastic tray or something for her to work on. Like when she's making something so that they can stay onto the tray and they won't roll off. I need it to have like an edge to it so that it won't roll off. Let me just show you. Can you see how many? Look down here. And we literally cleaned this up at 4 o'clock yesterday. And there's, they're all over. And I don't want to vacuum. Like she's paid money for these beads and it's handfuls of beads. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and I need to vacuum this room. It's driving me crazy. And I can feel every single bead underneath my feet. It's driving me crazy. So while I don't agree that I should clean up her mess, I do want to get the beads off of the floor and try and straighten up her desk so that she see, I, sees that it needs to be kind of straightened up. But also I'm gonna try and look for a little tray for her. And then maybe she'll see, okay, maybe if I keep it a little bit neater and work off of a tray, no matter what project she's working on, it'll stay. I don't care if it's messy necessarily, but it's it spills all over the floor. And that's the part that's, like she's just wasting money. She's literally just dumping money onto the floor. And then we just end up putting them into little cups like this, and then she doesn't do anything with it. So if we put them into here, she needs to reorganize them back into the right bins, and then she can continue to work on whatever project she wants to work on. I want to foster creativity. That's literally the whole point to having this room. It's literally the whole point, is to foster creativity. Like Chelsea, you guys, she left her little notebook home. I hope she doesn't get mad. Let me show you a few of her things. Oh, let's go in there. It's better light in here. Look at the cover alone. Look how creative she is. Let's see if there's some cute ones that I can show you. If you can't tell, I'm kind of dreading working on the beads and getting on the floor. So let's see what we got here. My goodness sakes, you guys. This is all freehand. She doesn't trace, she doesn't like, she just looks at a picture. My gosh. She just looks at pictures and she just draws it. And then she paints it and then she does marker. Oh, I'm so glad that we foster this for her. Look at the detail on that shell, man. She comes back in with like her sharp, like thin pens and adds all that shading and detail. Oh, this is a new book. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Well, I thought I'd get to look at more pictures, but that's all that's in there. So I'm gonna get down there, but I'm gonna save you the, um, the hassle of seeing me get down there and try and get back up. I'm gonna pick up the beads and we're gonna straighten this up just a bit. Just this much. Okay, we have a pile of garbage. I'm not going to throw any of that away. There's like little scraps of the cording that I want her to sort through and find ones that still work for her. I have put a few things up here on her little shelf. This is all the, not even all, <laughs> some of the bracelets she's made. And then I have stacked up all of her actual supplies here. I am gonna wipe down the counter for her. And then I have to pick up all the beads on the floor. She steals my little lids. Oh, I wonder where that goes. Hmm, wonder where that one goes. She steals these to use as little trays to make her stuff, which is why I wanna get her a larger one. I don't even know, like maybe I'll just get like one of these buckets, like another bucket. I don't know, because <laughs> these lids are perfect. I don't know why she doesn't, well she uses this one for paint. You can see she's actually used this one for a paint board, because um, acrylic paint will wash off of it. But we'll see what Target has. Okay, pile of garbage crew by a sock <laughs> and all of this cording. I don't want this to mess up my um, my vacuum. And some of them are really long, like she can use them. So I'm gonna have her see what mess she makes and have to clean that part of it up. I also found clippers and tweezers underneath the desk. So put those away. There's still beads down here, you guys. I literally, like, I can feel them. See? Oh, that's my headphone. I can feel them on my feet, but I feel like I've picked them all up. That's what I picked up off the floor. 
this does not look nearly as much as I feel on my feet. <laughs> That's the only problem. Ooh, there's a hair in there. All right, so we're gonna just dump. This is like the miscellaneous. She's gonna have to sort these all. But we're gonna put this right here for her to work on for like two hours before she has to go to cheer tonight. And I'm gonna do our favor and wipe off the whole thing. Even if I try to leave, you still make me wanna stay. You ask me to believe in the words that you say. tray like this size would be perfect because it's kind of got a lip to it there's an edge to it but do I buy the whole container or do I just have her use the bins she already has the ones that are like this but I don't think it has a lip to it let me go check those out I'm just trying to decide what to do all right maybe I should just have her Use, this is the bin she has, except we have the white lid. We have this lid. I should just have her take off the lid and use the lid. But she is running out of space. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get one more container. These ones are only $3. The other, uh, the other ones over there are more, and we already have this kind. So I'm going to get one more of these and a white lid. And I'm going to have her use the white lid as her tray and then she can put the current stuff she's working on in there. She needs to work off of the tray. All right, I finished at Target. I had to get a few extra things. Got her little box. You've already like tried to organize your area again. We just dropped Abby off at work. We're back to having um, car scheduling issues with only three cars and four drivers. Because Kaylee is out with Jacob in her car. And Abby had to work tonight, so we just had to drop her off and we'll have to come back and get her. Because I have to take her to, ch to uh, cheer and I'm gonna walk, so I've got my workout gear on. But, Jason and I also need to try and get my Honda Pilot down to the dealership where it's gonna get looked at and hopefully fixed. Um, the appointment is on Friday, but we wanted to give an extra day just in case it doesn't make it to the dealership. <laughs> we don't know for sure if it's even going to start. We haven't, we haven't even like turned it on yet since Abby last parked it and it turned it off. So we wanted to like try it tonight. So he's going to call me when he's headed home from work, pick up Abby, and then we'll go and try um, starting the car and getting it over to the dealership. And, then, and drop it off a day early. But if it doesn't make it, then we're gonna have to call a tow truck. That's why we wanted to like try it tonight and then if we, it doesn't work, then we'll have to get the tow truck for tomorrow. And I will have to help coordinate that during the day. So um, we're just making one attempt today just in case we need an extra day. It's kind of annoying to have cars with so many problems. Um, I'm not even scheduling to get Kaylee's windshield fixed until I know that the pilot is completely fixed um, and we have other issues with my car beside the windshield but we're gonna deal with that at a later date I haven't really even talked about that yet so we will talk about that 
later on. The windshield is not an urgent matter. We will take care of that um, you can't later even on. See it. I know it's there, dude. It's a brand new car, so it's really annoying that it's <laughs> that it's there. Um, so <sighs> it just never ends. All right, I walked four miles at the gym. Came home, took a shower, did a bunch of back and forth. Now we're to the point where we have to try and see if we can start this car. Start it. Turn on, let's go. Okay. We're tired and crabby, FYI. So we're not in a chatty mood. So part of the problem with my Honda is that it could crap out at any given point in time. So we didn't want like Kaylee or me and me to go and take it or me and Abby to go and take it because we don't know if it's going to crap out on us and we don't want to take it on a side road because the side road is a one lane well, you know road and there's nowhere to like pull over if it like conks out so we have to risk getting on the highway so we have somewhere to pull over if it conks out on us it also tends to conk out if you put it into like park or reverse or if you um, trigger the like the I don't know what it's called like the when you brake at a stoplight it goes into like battery saving mode or like gas saving mode I guess I'm used to battery operated cars um, and so it turns the car off, but that will trigger it to just stop completely, put it into park and turn the car off. And so there's a little bit of uh, slow down at stop signs that might be happening. Um, hopefully we don't get red lights. Um, so I'm really following closely behind, not closely behind Jason, but like keeping him in my eyesight make sure that it stays turned on and we make it to the dealership safely so wish us luck we're also just very tired at the end of the day neither of us have been home for a couple hours so well he hasn't been home since this morning but it's been six hours since i've been home so i'm pretty tired okay not showing our car up ahead of me in case you can see the license plate but so far so good and isn't my car a little cute you can't see that it's blue but it is but jason's right where the red lights are ahead of my car in my lane i guess you can't even see his plate at all but we are at the light or at the exit i mean so i think we've almost made it there we safely made it to honda and now we are going to just park it in the service center. I would be surprised if they're still open. It's 8.30. But we can just put the key in the drop box. I'm betting he's happy that it is here safely. Alright, we made it back home. We will find out in a few days what the problem is. We are all betting on alternator which is not that expensive. So, fingers crossed that maybe they can look at it tomorrow. Maybe we got it there a day early because they need to have, you know, they'll actually have time to work on it tomorrow. Doing the Tesla shuffle now. <laughs> so tired. I'm literally going to go to get, go and get in bed. It is 9 o'clock. 9.06. Just had to convince Ashley to go to sleep. So, take care you guys I'm literally so tired I am too far over but now he's behind me so it is what it is okay take care you guys easy, easy on our tiptoes